Okay guys, today what we're doing is uh, I got a load to go to the dump. So I'm going to pick up uh, this little trailer here. And I'll show you guys, I think I showed you guys before, I'm not sure, of uh, what we have to do when we go through units. It's not just buy it, sell it, and go to the next one. You got dump fees, like I told you before, you got dump fees, you got your manual labor you got to pay. Which is basically what I do, it's myself. Make sure I get make enough money for myself. Otherwise, there's no point in doing it. So I'm going to hook this up. I'm going to go uh, grab the, go back to the house, grab all the garbage, and go to the dump. Uh, show you guys what everything looks like as we go step by step and the price and all that stuff. This U-Haul right here. About 42 bucks so that also has to come out of your your overhead for what money you make what money you have to make to make sure you make any profit all right right back okay so we got the u-haul as you can see we're hooked up now we are on our way home to get the load check back with you when i get home okay there is my load so you got a six by 12 trailer loaded and don't this isn't just the last three units i i bought it's probably a couple other ones um i'd say four units so it's not bad um so load this up and uh yeah let's get this out of here and uh get done and i'll show you what the price is um for this so you got like i, like I said you got to put this in your total of what you're going to make because if you're not making this you're not making your money back if you're not making what you should be paying yourself an hour there's no point in doing this you guys would actually end up losing money lucky i don't pay i haven't paid a lot for units but the ones i do pay a lot for i'm making the money back and then some plus everything else so i mean i i i've been doing it for a while so i've been i do the research even if it's online i look at the pictures um take some of the pictures that i have from the online units, do research on what's there, find out what's cost, what, or what I can sell for, what you know, if anything else is going on with it, if it's new, it's old, antique, whatever. So you got to take that into consideration. So I got, I'm gonna take this up there, and uh, I'll catch you guys in a minute. Well, we made it. Just gotta wait our turn in line. Sorry, I didn't want to get their license plate, so it went fast. So there's our U-Haul. Wait our turn and we'll see see what this is gonna cost us. Not that busy here today. Ooh, there's a lot of stuff. That guy next door is doing the same thing. We're getting there. Hey, right, there we go. Just sweep the leaves out when I get out in the lot. Had to get out out of there fast because he was trying to push it with the bulldozer make more room for the next people all right let's get on pay okay so this is what the u-haul cost without having a trailer you haul is 42 40 or 40 42 and the dump fee was 31 dollars even so like i said before you got to make sure you take these into consideration when you're trying to do this stuff because i had someone else that was here this past week and asked me, he's like, I want to get into it. I want to do it. What, I mean, what's the, what, what kind of money do I need? What do I need? It's like, if you don't have a trailer, that's going to cost you. You don't have a way to get rid of garbage. That's going to cost you. I do do some garbage here with the garbage can I have, but you do have to take some of the stuff. I can't sit long. You don't want to sit long. You do have to go to the dump. You got to make sure you pay yourself. Like I tell you guys, every time that people that are, are asking and watching, every time you do something, whether it's hour, two hours, three hours, four hours, make sure you're paying yourself. Otherwise, you're not making any money. And, I mean, if you're not doing this for fun, I mean, that's one thing. But if you're trying to make money on it here and there, you know, maybe help out with bills or, I mean, I do it really for fun most of the time. I mean, I do make money on it, but I still, I like doing it. Um, you got to make sure that you make enough money. got to do your research on stuff. Make sure you get, you know, the price that you need and don't overcharge people because then you're never going to sell it. It's going to sit forever. All right, guys, so that's it for today. Catch you all later. Have a good week.